In this video, I am going to talk about the process you're going to use to convert musical notes into frequencies for the Music Waveform Challenge. So, uh, in this on this screen here, you see a couple different things. Number one is a, a selection of a song with the notes here. Number two, I have the notes for a bass and treble clef. And number three, I have a table that shows you what the frequencies are for each note on the first octave. Um, so, a couple things to start off with. The first thing we need to do is to determine what key we're in, or basically what notes are sharped and flatted. So in this case, there's only one sharp note here, and it's on that first line, and that first line is an F. So we know that any F note that we read is going to be, actually be an F sharp. It's just an easy way of sharpening all Fs as opposed to writing them throughout the musical piece. Number two, if you're not familiar with music, any notes that are high, vertically high, like this one, or any notes above here on any of these lines or spaces are high frequency or high pitch notes. And any notes that are low vertically, like this one down here, are very low notes or low pitch notes. That's going to help us determine what notes we are we, uh, we have on the table here. And then number three, any note just for reference that's on that's actually on the middle line right here, that line right down here below that treble clef, is a middle C. So this note's not on it, but if it were, it would be a C. So that helps us reference where we're at. So middle C is this guy right here, this note right there, which is 261 hertz. Um, so number one, determine what key we're in or what notes are sharp or flatted. Number two, just know that these are higher pitch notes, lower pitch notes down here, and then know where middle C is. So I'm going to pick these notes here to analyze, these four. So take a look at that first note. That first note is actually right in that space there. So that's an F. And as we know, any F note that we have is a sharp. The next note is actually on the line. And looking at the table here, it looks like we have an E note. And then these two notes are both the same and looks like they're below the line, so they're D notes. So uh, let's take a look here. So all these notes are above middle C. Again, middle C would be a note on the line, and these are all above it. So they're a higher pitch or higher frequencies. So if here's middle C right here, all our notes we're going to look at are going to be these guys because they're higher numbers or higher frequencies or higher pitch. So an F sharp looks like it's down over here, 369.99. So I'll just say 370. Hertz. And then an E is right here, it's 329, and a D is right there, 293. And these are all frequencies in Hertz, HZ, number of oscillations or waves per second. So these are the numbers you need to know to type into your Excel uh, waveform spreadsheet to create your waves uh, for the specific uh, notes in your uh, bar of music.